Hey y'all, Altarian here with another video review. Uh, today we're going to be taking a look at the Funko Legacy Collection uh, Malcolm Reynolds from Firefly. Now this is the first figure in the um, Firefly line. They've released five so far and he is number one. Uh, so we're going to move him off to the side and we're going to take a look at the packaging first. Uh, so this is the packaging. Uh, it's similar, but a little different than the Game of Thrones packaging. I think it's cooler looking than the Game of Thrones packaging. Uh, from the front here, you can see a little starry background and the desert on the ground there on the bottom. And of course, a picture of Mal and his name. Uh, the side has Serenity, a picture of Mal, and then the name again. Instead of just like the house sigil and the name, I think it's cool that it shows a picture of the character. And then on the back, uh, these are the five that have been released so far. Uh, the only one I have pre-ordered and that I plan on getting is Jane. Um, I'm not getting the normal Jane. I'm getting the previous exclusive Jane that includes his hat, which is much cooler than the normal Jane. And of course, we have Kaylee, uh, Wash, and then Zoe are also in the first five. I imagine the rest of them will be made at some point. But that's pretty much it. Uh, on the top is just Firefly on the number one. Uh, so next up, uh, we're going to see the accessories here. Uh, the first accessory is the uh, the rifle here i don't really plan on having him displayed with the rifle uh he kind of holds it weird so i don't really plan on using it but it is pretty nice looking it has some nice weathering detail and everything on it it's pretty well sculpted pretty nice little rifle and then of course he's got his pistol it wouldn't be mal without his his pistol which again is nice and weathered looking uh pretty nice looking pistol overall so we're going to take a look at the sculpt of this figure first, uh, take a look at his likeness. Uh, for the most part, I think he does look like Mal. It's a pretty good sculpt of Mal, a pretty good likeness of him. Uh, and there are a lot of nice little sculpted in details, like on the shirt. You can see a lot of the ripples, like in the cloth or whatever, which is pretty nice. And the buttons on the jacket, uh, the overalls are sculpted on, they're not just painted on, which is nice. Uh, the belt, again, sculpted on. We have a little holster for the pistol. Uh, the pants, again, they have that nice little ripply look like the actual cloth. And then the boots. And then the back of the jacket. Like I said, overall, it's a pretty nice looking, nice looking figure from a sculpt wise. One thing I wish that they would have done different with it is the jacket is kind of weird. Um, it's just, it looks kind of like he's wearing a vest because of how it kind of hangs. I, I wish they would have sculpted it on to like this upper torso more. Or at least they should have make, made it a matte paint color instead of the glossy look so it matched the arms better. Uh, that's pretty much the only issue I have with the sculpt on this figure. Same thing with the paint. Overall, some nice little details with the paint. You see a lot of the shadows and kind of black on here on the shirt. The jacket, I feel they kind of overdid the black a bit in some places. That could be partially because it's a glossy instead of a matte look. But the jacket, I feel, has a bit too much of that black shadowy look to it. Yeah, there are a lot of nice paint details on here. Overall, a very, very nice figure. Like I said, on the pistol, it's nice and weathered, which is cool. I do wish the wrists weren't so... Like, I wish they would have done the wrists a bit better. Because they're really, really thin looking since there's nothing really covering them. Same thing with this side. It doesn't seem as bad. I don't know why one side is worse than the other. But yeah, this wrist looks pretty bad since it looks, it's not really attached all the way. Um, so we're going to go through articulation. One thing I'm going to say about him is I it was really hard for me to get him to stand. I'm not going to necessarily fault Funko for that because I this is the first figure like this that I've gotten, so I could just be really bad at posing these. But it was really hard for me to get him to actually stand up without falling over. So I'm just going to say that. So like I said, articulation-wise, uh, the head moves up and down, left, right, uh, side to side. Uh, the shoulders, they're stiff, and they come out a bit. Uh, they do rotate full 360. The elbows, again, the elbows are really stiff when I first got them, but the elbows do... Uh, rotate and bend and then the wrist if you focus 
No, I'm not. All right, so the wrist again, it rotates and then it bends and whatnot. Same thing with this side. Now this wrist is a lot stiffer. At least at first it was a lot stiffer than the other one. But again, the arm's the same. Uh, his upper body, you can see there's that seam there. Uh, it doesn't bend back and forth, but it does It does rotate. I don't know why you'd really want to rotate it since the overalls wouldn't line up if you do that, but it does rotate. Uh, the waist doesn't, just the middle body. I, wish, I don't know why they just make the waist rotate, I don't know. Uh, the legs, how uh, they do come out. And then they go back and forth. They don't go too far back, but they do go pretty far forward. Uh, and then, of course, we have this um, thigh rotates. Full 360. The knee, it does bend like that. And then it kind of bends. Not, I don't want to bend it too much. I feel like it's going to break. But I think part of the issue why I have so much trouble standing is because his leg is bent like this. I mean, it looks more natural, but uh, that could have been why it was a pain to make him stand up. But uh, like I said, I'm not really too familiar with these figures, so I don't know if that's just me being stupid and not being able to pose them or what. But uh, the ankle, it does have some small amount of side to side, uh, and it does do some pretty good range of motion at the ankle. So articulation, well, he, has, he has a lot of nice articulation, but like I said, he's a, he's a pain to stand back up. Uh, so I'm going to cut, I'm going to get him reposed and sniff, stood up properly again, because he's a pain. So I'll be right back again, we'll wrap it up. Alright, and we're back here. Um, overall, uh, I'm pretty satisfied with him. Like I said, he does look pretty much like Mal does. Uh, like the, My only issues with him is the, the jacket for the most part. I wish it was a little longer, and that it didn't really look as much like a vest as it does. Uh, but overall, it's a pretty nice figure. He does retail for about 20 bucks. Uh, I don't, like I said, I don't really plan on getting any more of these other than uh, the previews exclusive Jane. Uh, but for the most part, he's pretty good. Uh, I would, I'd probably recommend him if you want to get a good, inexpensive uh, Firefly figure because he does look the part. Uh, so yeah, overall, I would recommend him. And thank you very much for watching. I'll be back with a review. My next one, uh, I don't really know what it's going to be. It might be Jane. I don't know when he's going to be coming in stock. Should be soon. Might be the Star Trek Three Phaser. Uh, from Diamond Suck Toys, which is supposed to be coming out this month. It might be, um, I don't know. We'll see what it is. It'll be, it'll be something at some point in time. So like I said, thanks for watching. If you like my videos, please subscribe.